We're going to be starting our first project today with Ms. Tilton, and we're going to be working along with this video for a minute. All we really need to get this project started is a piece of drawing paper, a pencil, a little bit of masking tape, some of this wax paper, and one of these boards that she's already prepared for you with some of this cotton on there and some of the gel glue. We want to make sure that we're using this blue gel stuff today for this project. So let's get started. Now there's a good chance that yours is going to look probably a little bit different than mine. Um, but what you're going to watch me do here is going to be kind of the same idea that you end up doing on your project. And all I'm really going to be doing is working with my pencil to draw something that kind of looks like some buildings in the background. Now buildings, very simply put, are rectangles. However, you can definitely make those buildings a little bit more interesting by adding some different styles of tops to them because not every building has a flat top. So triangles would be good. Um, other types of geometric shapes would definitely work. And of course, we're definitely going to want some windows. Now, here's a pro tip. Keep all of your drawing pretty big. The bigger this is, the easier it's going to be when we start to use our glue, and you'll see why in just a moment. It is fairly simplistic, and like I just told you, um, everything is fairly largely drawn, and that's an important thing to make sure that you have on yours as well. I did change up the bottom of this building a little bit. Um, this piece was supposed to kind of look like that cloth piece that goes over the entranceway of a building and then the two doors underneath. So now it's time for wax paper. And with the wax paper, we are going to lay that wax paper right on top of our drawing and we're going to line up the corners on two sides and make sure that everything looks like it's working and lined up. And we're going to put a couple pieces of tape on. And I can definitely help you with that. Um, sometimes this tape can be a little bit tricky to get off the roll, kind of like it is now. Now you're going to use a permanent marker to trace. As you're tracing, make sure you don't touch that permanent marker because it does take a few seconds to dry and if you touch it, it's going to smear. Do your best to retrace all of your lines with black marker. And be very careful as you peel your tape up. You don't want to rip your wax paper. And this is also going to be a good time to check and make sure if your tape covered anything you fill it back in. And now we're going to take this piece of wax paper and we're going to put it underneath this. We're going to take that drawing and we're actually going to put it behind because look what's happening. Now we can see everything through again. So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to use that glue and we're going to slowly begin tracing all of these lines that we can see through with glue. Now is a good time to double check though. Underneath this cloth, you want the wax paper. If you're not using the wax paper underneath this cloth, your project will be ruined. So make sure you're doing that. Whenever I've done this project in the past, I see kids use way too much glue. Something you need to know is that glue will actually start to flatten out as it dries and that line will get wider. Do not use too much glue. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a huge mess when it comes time to start painting this. Also, your glue will occasionally separate itself. Make sure <clears throat> all of your lines are connected. That is a perfect looking line. Let's zoom in on that bad boy. All right, I'm gonna finish gluing this thing up and show you. Thing on here is now glued. The only thing that I'm missing at this point is my name and we are going to need a permanent marker to write our name and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Or ultra fine sharpies and carefully write your name down in a corner in a spot that does not have wet glue on it. Now because this project is very delicate at this point and also full of wet glue we and also full of wet glue we are going to put the whole thing, you guessed it, over there on the drying rack. So 
everything is one nice neat piece. Carefully pick it up and walk it to the rack.